I'm back. Road Trans for the Matrix and Road Show. Well, you know when Representative Jim Jordan gets involved, you know you done effed up, right? You done effed up when Representative Jim Jordan gets involved and slams your damn movie. Now, look, we all know what's going on at Disney. Walt Disney, it's been a theme. It's been going on for a while. Kathleen Kennedy, Lucasfilm, the MCU, identity politics, wokeness. Look, alphabet ideology all through their products now. All through their products. Bob Chapik, an even worse leader than Robert Iger. My God, who, who, who could have saw that? But it's happening. It's happening right now. Bob Chapik gets involved with Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis hammers the shit out of Disney. It's a beautiful thing. Well, enter woke-ass Buzz Lightyear slash Lightyear the movie. The spin-off, spin-off movie from Disney that is officially bombed at the box office. Why? They pushed, for lack of a better way of putting it, they pushed a bunch of alphabet ideology into that movie, and the sumbitch flopped. Oh, it seems, it seems... That 96% of the population that's not gay or trans doesn't want to expose their children to this groomer ideology. Imagine that. Who would have thought that shit? Well, Jim Jordan. (laughs) And I got to be honest with you. Jim kept it short and sweet here. But I think it's hilarious I think it's hilarious that Representative Jim Jordan has gotten involved to just take a shot at Walt Disney, the Disney Corporation, for making this dumbass movie. And let us also recognize, too, here, the fact that um, not only did the movie bomb, but uh, they cut Tim Allen out of the damn thing. Okay, we all know why. He's a conservative, unapologetically. Let's do this. The fallout of Disney's woke light year bombing at the box office has been felt so far and wide that none other than Representative Jim Jordan has chimed in on its colossal collapse. Breitbart. This is, um, let me see who wrote this. Paul Bois. Quote, Buzz Lightyear went woke. The movie went broke. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan tweeted on Wednesday prompting angry backlash from leftists. There it is right there. I mean, how funny is that? How funny is that? I tore the NFL's asshole wide open. And while I did it, let me take a shot at Walt Disney and Buzz Lightyear. Lightyear bombed hard at the box office this past weekend. Much to the dismay of analysts and film critics who believed the movie would pull in at least $80 million domestically in its opening weekend, it pulled in just $50.6 million domest- domestically and had a worldwide haul of $80 million. That is terrible. Given that the movie cost $200 million to produce and had another $100 million in marketing, the movie will lose a colossal amount of money. As Breitbart News' John Nolte pointed out, the loss of revenue likely stemmed from Disney's desire to insert a same-sex kiss into the movie as part of a mission statement to push LGBTQ content in children's programming. I know that we are supposed to not say this out loud, but I'm going to say it anyway. Other than homosexuals, nobody wants to watch any kind of sexual intimacy between same-sex couples. We just don't. Why? Because if you'll pardon the expression, we were born this way. It's how we're wired. No one goes to the movies to be made uncomfortable, and the parents don't take their kids to the movies. Yeah, I mean, their parents are just not going to... Look, parents are just not going to expose their kids to that. I can tell you right now. Um, I don't know any parent that will, to be real with you, not one, not one. Okay. I talked to a buddy of mine who takes his three girls to all of these kind of movies. And he said, nope, we're not going to see this shit. Most, especially a Disney movie to expose them to human sexuality before they're ready. Keep in mind, three girls and a parent. That is four movie tickets that Disney did not get to consume, okay? 
Disney CEO Bob Chapek put Disney on a co- collision course with Ruin this past March when he came out swinging against the bill in Florida to bar sexuality as from being taught to kindergartners. Quote, I understand that many are upset that we did not speak out against the bill, Chapek said. We were opposed to the bill from the outset, but we chose not to take a public position on it. We thought we could be more effective working behind the scenes, working with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Quote, I called Governor DeSantis this morning to express our disappointment and concern. If legislation becomes law, it could be unfairly, it, it could be used to unfairly target gay, lesbian, non-binary, and transgender kids and families. Uh, nobody's targeting anybody. Just nobody. Just keep it out. Just keep it out. It's pretty simple. I mean, cut it out of it. Nobody wants to have it in their schools. Certainly not to a kindergarten through third grade. And look, let's be real here. I don't want I don't want kids of that age exposed to any kind of sexuality. Their children, straight or gay, just before everybody tries to make that an issue. I don't, okay? I mean, that's just a fact, all right? And I think many parents are. They're going to vote that way, too. Come come midterms, it's about to get ugly for the Dems. And it's because of shit just like this. People are fed up. Ron DeSantis took that good old, uh, what was it, the Reedy Creek Act, and he burnt that some bitch at the stake, didn't he? Sure did. He burnt it to the ground. Jim Jordan <laughs> throws a shot at Disney. <laughs> Walt Disney and Buzz Lightyear. I find this hilarious. I do. Uh, it's funny as shit. Tell me what you think, Matrix and Roadshow fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.